so in this lesson we will connect our app to a database engine and for this purpose we will use postgresql now first we will add this extension prisma uh, which is from prisma.io and the current version is 5.6.0 uh, please install this i've already installed this after installing the extension we will install the prisma library so go to your command terminal and here type in pmi prisma to install this and let me tell you what is prisma it's actually a orm object relation mapper so it is actually a tool that we use to talk to our database so after installing prisma write this command npx prisma init to initialize this project for prisma so press enter and after you run this command npx prisma init you'll see uh, that there is a folder here prisma you can see and there's a file schema.prisma and here you can see that there's a client and data source db here the url is uh, coming from the environment file of database url key so in the environment file this is also generated when we run this command you can see a connection string actually so this is the provider this is the username and then the password and after that this is the db name and then the schema so everything is default for postgresql we have to change only the username and the password so uh, use your uh, username and password to install the postgresql engine in your local machine go to uh, the browser and head over to postgresql.org slash download and depending on your operating system uh, click on the operating system suppose i have install it on my windows machine and then you can download the installer click here and depending on your operating system and processor you can download the installer and install this after installing the postgres sql go to environment file and change the username password and db name and after that now let's add a model so go to schema.prisma here We will add a model we we'll can call it user and the user will have it property which will be type of int so int and here we can provide some attribute like it will be a primary key so we can add this id and another attribute that we can provide the default value which will be auto increment and then uh, I should name this actually in lower case it would be better to uh, query our data and then each user will have a email which will be of type string and then we can optionally add nick attribute and then each user can have age which will be Int. and we can add some default value or we can skip this and then we can add any boolean field like is active which will be type of boolean so that's that will be our initial model let's save this and after uh, saving you can see that my bs code automatically formatted this but if you uh, don't see the code formatted let's undo this there's another way to format this you can use the uh, prisma cli for that we can use this uh, npx prisma format and it will format our schema now let's add a migration for this user model 
so go to your uh, terminal and let's clear this first and run npx prisma migrate dev So enter a migration name, I will call it uh, added user model. Well, the migration is complete. Uh, let's see what it has done. It has created a migrations folder here, you can see. And inside the migration folder, it created a, another folder uh, with the name of our migration. And before that, there's a timestamp. And inside the folder, there's a SQL command to create the table user and this table has the uh, columns of the schema that we defined for user model and the type of the column is based on this type so you can see this uh, integer serial which is for auto incremented integer and email text for email integer for age and boolean for uh, is active and you can see the primary key here is the id field and uh, this command that we just run npx prisma migrate it has also applied these commands into the database so let's go to our uh, database 